Right, welcome to this week's episode of Music Motorbikes. Hello, everybody. This week we're coming from Saffmorden yeah. Common. Why are we on Saffmorden Common? There's a few cars here. Is there? Yeah. Why is it? Because it's the Saffmorden Motor Show. Yeah. That'll be it then, won't yeah. it? Right. Yeah. So we're going to go and have a look at some cars then, are we? See yeah. if we can get you in some of them as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I can get in them all right, can't I? Yeah, I know, you can. I can get in them all right. You can get in a Sky Electric car. Well, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look then. Luis, Chris Dello. Lovely orange. Do they call you Tango? Or? <laughs> they don't call me Tango, but... <laughs> well, you know, you're in, you're only when you've been Tangoed, when you go past. <laughs> you certainly don't miss it. No. Um, so, how long you had it? Uh, about what three years, it? three yeah. years, and this is the, uh, it's the third one I looked at. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, and I was, I was about to buy a blue one, and then this one came in the night before, and my son-in-law, who, who sells them, he said, uh, you need this one. I said, but it's bright orange. Yeah, it's exactly what so, you need it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's so, lovely. He said, no, yeah. you'll, once you see it, it's, you'll, you'll get used to it. No, so, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really is. nice motor, actually, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice motor. So it normally comes with a soft top, and uh, but I had the hard top um, put on there. So yeah, you can I take it about, off, obviously. Does it, is it fold in? Go, go behind the seats or something? No, no, right? so that comes off and then yeah. goes in your shed or your garage oh, or right. something okay, like that. So you can't store it in the car? No, no, no. But you can, the soft top that's underneath that, or it's in the boot, you can put that on and off. So, uh, so has that got the um, Toyota engine in it, or the K-Series in it? No, it's it hasn't got the K-Series in it, so it's got the Toyota, and this is a baby one, this is a 1.6. Uh-huh. So this is, uh, um, yeah, probably the slowest of the right. Lotuses. What sort of horsepower is it? I think it's about 160, yeah. 160 that's bhp. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 700 kilos, if that. 750, 750, three quarters of a ton. Yeah, yeah. So it's, there's no weight to it. Yeah, it looks nice yeah. with the black, the satin black. That looks. I really like nice. it now. Now, yeah. now I've now I've got it. Yeah. And I, you know, it's bright orange, but uh, I like it. If I had another <laughs> one, I'd get another one, yeah. another orange one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You're keeping this one for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I'll keep it yeah. for a little while. Yeah, I, I, I might put a supercharger on it to give it yeah, a little bit more nice. zip. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Because it's quite um, an easy job, I think, isn't it? I think. I think so. Yeah. It's an expensive one. Yeah. So whether it warrants. Yeah, they, they did a supercharged one, though, didn't they? Yeah, they've yeah. done. Yeah, they supercharge them. Yeah, yeah. So I know it. I know it'll go on there. It's yeah. just um, yeah, a matter of doing it. Well, it's been very nice speaking to you. Thanks for letting us oh, have mate. a look. And uh, it's nice seeing you again. I haven't seen <laughs> you for ages. I know, I know, I know. Are yeah. well, you going to try and get in and out of it, aren't you? Shall I try and get in and out of it, Mark? <laughs> I, think, well, I think it's worth a go. <laughs> no, it is. It's just put your left leg. Yeah. I'll we'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I ain't going to get in there. I am not going to get in there. Just put your left, left leg right down as far as you can get it in first. Yeah. Right the way down. <laughs> the carpet will slide forward. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't no. <laughs> Come on, I can't get my leg in. <laughs> I'm 
mini people. We've actually got a mini on minis and motorbikes. <laughs> and it's a lovely mini as well. Uh, it's built by Gary. Um, how did it all come about, Gary? Is it is it sort of built from scratch or is it something you bought? Uh, it's a complete on? nut and bolt restore from ground up. Uh, I bought the car as a, a last hurrah. Uh, it was built initially for my son, um, but we spent so much money on it, I went and bought him another car and we kept this one, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, what sort of engine has he got on it? Is it a 1200 or? 1275, yep. bought out to 1293. She's all lightened and balanced uh, with a Weber on it. So 84 brake horsepower, 81 foot pounds. Lovely, lovely. So you did all the body work on it yourself and it was, all, the, all the wings and everything? Uh, yeah. it, it, we, we did the whole build ourselves. Uh, a friend of mine's into re restoration, so on the arches, they're off of a trailer, uh, Iver Williams trailer arch. They're all sort of been plasma cut and, and put in and then welded in solid. So yeah, it's, it's got lots of different bits and pieces. We just tried to make something different for each yeah. corner. Uh, and the wing, is that off a different car and you've made, wing, it, made it work? The wing is off of a Subaru Impreza. <laughs> Cut like into three yeah. and uh, yeah, stitched back together. I wanted a high vis light on the back because it's such a low little thing. You yeah. don't want to be hit up the bottom. No, it is lovely. And the, and the vents in the bonnet, who did those? We did that. Did we, that. we did you the vents a, in the bonnet. Made it up and pressed them yourself. Yeah, they yeah. come out of a, a, the old uh, VW bus, ah, the, the yes. front grill, yeah. cut yeah. into four and sort of like sliced in where we could find them the nicest place to go. And the headlights are out of a bandit motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, I can see it now. Until <laughs> yeah. so, you see it, I didn't. As soon as you tell it. people, yeah. they go, yeah, yeah I yeah, can yeah. see that yeah. now, but yeah. yeah. So no, it looks lovely. try to get everything a little bit different so people can walk around it and, and there's something different on every corner. So, yes, no, it's fun. Made a, made a lovely job of that. Thank you, sir. And we're going to be seeing you soon anyway, because you do blasting, don't you? Vapor blasting. Do sand blasting and vapor blasting. Bentley's blasting. My surname, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been lovely meeting you. And you, sir. And it's, 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 it's a beautiful car. You've made a lovely job of that. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much and enjoy your afternoon. Can I just do one shout yes, out? Of course Please you can. put it in the video. <laughs> Dave Forrester. Dave Forrester. He's my man. How is he? Yeah. yeah. He, could he be ours as well? Yeah, he's, he's on there. <laughs> he's on there. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers Thank for your time. Much. Thank you. Yeah, but what? Yeah. It's over there now. Huh? Yeah. BMW this time. We've got a little bit of a confession, though, really, because this is Mark's, Mark's boy, Mark's young man. Finally Matthew. allowed out from behind yeah. the camera. Yeah, finally out from the camera. <laughs> BMW, Matthew, what brought this yeah. on? Because you were thinking about something else, weren't you? And oh, someone well, talked, the, sort of talked you out of it, didn't they? Yeah, well, the <laughs> list of something else was about an A4 sheet of paper list, <laughs> as every car lover probably has. Um, but yeah, I had a Clio RS beforehand, which yeah, was, was actually on the channel. That was nice, yeah. That we did was the nice. brakes, didn't yeah, we, we did just before I got rid of it. Yeah, that was very nice, actually. Um, and then, yeah, I had a few cars, and I think eventually the shortlist was a Porsche Cayman, yeah. which a certain gentleman talked me out of. <laughs> um, <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I yeah. ended up, well, I was looking at the, the M Sport 2 series and then was surprised at the price that these went for yeah. and thought, I. Might as well go for it. It does look so. lovely, I must admit. I'm not, I, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm not really a BMW fan, but this does look, I'll, I'll be quite happy with this. It's got yeah. the right yeah. size and stance, it's got the isn't stance, it? Everything looks right. Yeah, the wing's just enough, it's not too much, it's, uh, and they're bloody quick. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the original M2, not the comp one. Yeah. So it's got the, the N55 engine, and then it's got the louder less sociable exhaust. Yeah, so it's got a switch on the exhaust so you can have it loud or quieter or not or you ain't Yeah, well it, well it does that when you put it in sport anyway. Oh, okay. it, it opens yeah, all the so valves up, but then there's a secret switch in the boot as well that, that does even more. Yeah. Secret switch. Secret switch. Man. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, so after this the comp yeah. Pesky EU regulations, yeah. they had to be quieter yeah. and more efficient. Yeah, and bloody EU. Yeah. yeah, this this slipped in before all those regs came in, so a bit, bit noisier. Yeah, well, it's very nice, Matthew, and thank you for letting us look at it. And, um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> Something different again, Mark. We've got Deal this time, but we know Deal. Yeah. How have we known you, Deal? Where have we met you before and filmed before? You've met me on the building site. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah we don't want to talk and about And when that. you used to race, <laughs> yes. and what did I used to call you? A 
can't remember. It wasn't Roly Poly Palmer. It was Roly Poly Palmer. <laughs> you rolled a car once. <laughs> but it's legends, really, and it we know yeah, from legend, it, really, to be fair. And Mark was happy because he got a free cup of tea. And some biscuits. Yeah, biscuits. He scoffed them. So, yes, your VW, what year is it? 1965. 65. But I bought it as a 1968. Oh. But when I come to restore it, all the parts I was buying didn't fit. And ah, it, and then you realised it was oh, three right. years older than. Uh, no, well, they said it was. Bloody so hell! So it was a result for me. So was it just a shed? Was it? It was just there was just it was just awful, and you just started again and. Yeah, complete bolt, resto. Bolt um, chassis off. Sprayed it in 1991. It's still original paint. Yeah, still good in it. Yeah. So what engine's got? Is it 1600? Huh? It's got a 1641 yeah. with twin crank and it's got a 1500 gearbox to give it a bit more top end. So it's better on motorways and stuff yeah. like that with it. Oh yeah. And the wheels look pretty special as well, they look... They're BRMs, yeah. they're American, they're like drag racing alloys. You've got um, them over here or shipped them over or...? No, they're just repro ones, oh. original ones, yeah. you'd probably pay three or four thousand for them. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not a lot more money in it. But you've also got something else, haven't you? You've come in the Gulf as well, haven't you? This is my Gulf. Yeah, a little bit of a story with that as well, aren't you? You've been a bit lucky with that as well, aren't you? Yeah, basically it was... Um, I was working at a job in um, Cotton and the bloke next door had this in the barn. Um, it failed the MOT and... Uh, it was something stupid and all, wasn't it? It wasn't yeah, it was major, the, just... the cross member um, had rotted out. Uh, I went... Uh, he, he wanted to sell it. I went round there. I believed it was a Mark I. Um, went round there. We undone the barn door, and it was Mark II. And I walked away from it. Yeah. And then, uh, 12 years later, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to go back and buy that because all of a sudden the prices have gone yeah. up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, went round, round there, and it, I knew he wanted me to have it because I would look after yeah. it. It's, it's all unreal. original paint. Yeah. Um, it's done 93,000. Not even ran in. <laughs> Two owners, um, and every bit of paperwork since 1986. Oh, yeah. How much, is it roughly asked how much you paid for it, or don't you really want Ooh, to say? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I offered him a thousand pounds for it, and uh, he said that's too much money. So <laughs> I, yeah, I said, what about eight hundred pound? Yeah. And um, he said, yeah, but I don't want no comebacks. <laughs> so he took his hand off and yeah. Yeah, drove it away that night. <laughs> Three weeks later, I went back, drained the fuel out of it, put a new battery on it, took the spark plugs out, whirled it over, got the oil pressure up. Put the spark plugs back in and away she went. She went straight away, no problem. And yeah, uh, yeah it's that is a barn find of yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't get that. No. That's an early Mark II. They only done it's that. It's one of the original ones, isn't it? One of the original Mark II's, isn't it? I think it's, just, it's slightly different, and it? it makes a difference. It's a Type 19. Yeah, and you've got um, the P wheels as well, haven't you? Which yeah. What, you know, they're quite rare in it on their own, aren't they? That interior was only used for the first. Um, six months of production of the Mark IIs. Yeah. So what's the next project then? You must have another project. Oh, I don't know. I'd like another one. I need a barn though. Yeah. Yeah. So what would be in the next sort of thing? Would it be another VW or something totally different? Um, you used to do the chopper bikes as well, didn't you, with the motorbike engine? Yeah, still got them. Yeah. I was going to bring them today. You should have brought one of them, yeah. But the trouble is, it was hard driving these two <laughs> in one go. <laughs> <laughs>
old friend we're with again now. We haven't seen him for a long while. <laughs> Gary Saunders. All right. And he's got his specials and he's got something different this time as well. Something a little bit different. Yeah. So do you want to talk about the car first? Because you're, you're yeah. trying to sell that, yeah. I think, well, aren't you? The, yeah, the car, I've had it. I've, it was first on the road, 2017. And um, I, I built it from scratch. It, but it is, the chassis is basically... It's the rush uh, uh, chassis, well, isn't it? it's, it's the same as our XCS Cobra yeah. that we used to Ah, uh, the Cobra chassis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where I got modelled up, because I thought yeah. it was a rush chassis. So, yeah. But it is wider. It's wider than the Cobra, and it is actually done as the same dimensions as the rush. Yeah, and that's got the compensating uh, yeah, got, shocks yeah, on this front got, on it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, camber compensation yeah. front and back. It's a LS3 uh, engine, a Tremec TKO 600 uh, gearbox, uh, five speed, Jaguar F type limited slip diff, it's got yep. XCS billet brakes on it. Um, the body is uh, another a friend of mine, um, Pro Laminates, Nick Vincent, made, made the body for me. Yeah. Um, it's a fiberglass thing covered in uh, rusty they're, paint. They're, were they the lot that are at Sawbridgeworth? Yeah, Sawbridgeworth. Yeah, because yeah. they do all sort of yeah. American cars, don't yeah. they? He's got moulds for almost all sorts every of hot rod ever made in this country. I really? Think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're um, good, good guys, aren't they? they? Are, yeah, good yeah, what they do. Yeah, yeah. and... Because uh, the, the paint works slightly different on it as well. It's well, not it, actually rusty metal, is it? It's it, actually no, the paint it's all fibre yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all fibreglass. It's all, all the bits that look rusty. It's, and it's made, the paint is made by a company called the Rusty Paint Company. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And, it, and it, I think what it is, it's some sort of clear, um, uh, like a base coat, that they then put iron powder in. Yeah. And then um, just patinas itself, does yeah, it? And well, then you coat it once it's all yeah, done, you, or just, you put just it on, keeps and patina. then scotch bright it. Yeah. That uncovers all the metal particles, and then that, it just goes rusty, basically. Okay. So yeah. you can't use the old yeah. fashioned way of putting um, certain liquids that come out of you on it to make yeah. it rust quicker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it does give you this sort of added um, substance that's like a white powder, and I think, I'm not sure if it's just salt or a mild acid. Yeah. Uh, and you put a bit of that on it, and within minutes it's, it's gone rusty. It's gone rusty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it will continue to go rusty the, you know, yeah. the longer that's you leave it. But you're, you're building another one though, aren't you? That's, I've just, that's, yeah, I've just finished a, a 32 Ford with a similar chassis, uh, it's, it's got an LS one engine in it which is the 5.7 um, LS engine um, that uh, it's, and it's going to have a, it's got an automatic gearbox in it that's just gone through IVA and I'm still just waiting for the logbook at the moment yeah, so where do they do the IVAs now is it still because uh, it was Colchester not, yeah Norwich yeah. Norwich now I've been oh, right, okay. uh, you can go Norwich or you can go south down to Ch on its down to Chatham down that way somewhere yeah. are they one. pretty hard on it now or not or is it <laughs> it wasn't it too bad Bad. I mean, there's certain things. The, the main thing is that all this radius thing. Yeah. They're, they're really yeah, fussy about balls sharp and edges. Things and yeah. run around and it, hundred mil they? ball in one hand, <laughs> half a five yeah. mil hole in the other, and a bit of plate. <laughs> and they go checking all the all the edges and radiuses on everything. But um, yeah, it's not terrible. Emissions is probably the you know, the thing that most people um, suffer with. Yeah. But, Using the LS engines, it's quite easy to get them to do current emissions uh, with yeah. you know, catalysts, right catalysts in the exhaust. This one's got a Holly HP ECU, oh, lovely, which is yeah. a, a self-learning um, thing. Uh -huh. As long as you program it, its target air fuel ratio, it will just go, go and it writes a map and does it. Does it? It, and it yeah. just works. Yeah, that's it's an amazing thing. Yeah. But you've gone on the bikes now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so no, what's this, the story with this well, one? Well, this bike, someone paid me for a job. Because that's shaft with, driven, that one, isn't it? Yeah, shaft yeah. driven 750 motor guzzy. Yeah. And someone paid me for a job with the bike. Really? But it was such a mess <laughs> when, when I got it. I bet it. the welding weren't up to scratch, it, was, was it? <laughs> it wasn't the frame. It was, the, it was laughable, the yeah. frame. Yeah. Where someone had cut the headstock off and welded it back together. Really? Yeah. I'm literally just hitting it with a club hammer. It, it almost fell off. No. Some of the weld was that bad. And they just used solid bar in, stuck inside the tube. Oh. And they'd obviously had not had a, a very powerful MIG weld. It hadn't actually it melted into the bar yeah, at all. It gone just into fell it off. All. Yeah, so, um, he, uh, so every, as it is, come as it was. Yeah. Um, well, the, the, uh, I, only, all I kept from the original bike was the engine and the back wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I made a new frame. The tanks are uh, uh, Yamaha Virago that I cut in yeah. half, narrowed and, and oh, sectioned. Lovely. Yeah. Um, 
the um, the seat. I made the base. A guy called Keith Andrews down on the lovely, south coast. Lovely job, actually done the, in, the, the upholstery yeah. for me. Was it very expensive? Really, it wasn't. No, it was only about two hundred and fifty hey? pounds. Yeah, and he is, he is, <laughs> he is probably one of the best men really? in the country for that sort of thing as well. Nutty. I think he right might have result. done me a bit of a favour yeah. on it. But looking at it, yeah. is it? It is stunning, isn't it? More, yeah, more, that is you know, stunning what he's done with that. The materials aren't yeah. worked with as well, it's not like leather, is no, it? No, it's um, because it's vinyl, it's, very, yeah. it's not very flexible. It's flexible, it's, and, yeah, yeah. You, you can't stretch it a great deal. But you did all the paint well, you did all the airbrush yourself yeah, as well, didn't yeah. you? How did you I, I find watched, that? I watched about 40 hours of YouTube video on how to do airbrushing, and um, then yeah, it, it's quite. It's not as bad as it as it seems. It doesn't. It's doesn't, not as difficult, rather, as it seems yeah. to do. It's it's quite um, easy when you've got the right gear. So what about the flake then? Because there's obviously a, yeah. a specific ratio of that. What goes in? Well, Was that just trial and error? Or no. Did you... See the flake. Going back to Nick, who does the fiberglass bodies. He's yeah. done a load of beach buggies. In oh the right. Flake. He gave me a nearly a hundred weight sack of silver milk flake. <laughs> so you're right for Christmas cards and everything now, then. Yeah. <laughs> and I had a little a little packet of this um, multi-coloured reflective stuff, only a little bottle like that. Yeah. And I mixed up about a, a pot so big with the big flake, and there's through that you can just see the little coloured sparkles in it. Oh yes. Yeah. And I threw yeah. a few of them in, mixed it up, <laughs> put that on. Then you put loads of clear coat on. Yeah. Then you flat the clear coat back. And then you do your masking tape yep. with all the stripes. Yep. And then like the front of the tank, that's a bit of net curtain just stretched oh, over. Yeah, yeah. Not a pair of fishnets um, then. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're all <And> fishnets. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got like black candy in an, in an airbrush. Yeah. You just blow that on through. And the same with that, them stripes, that's all just a bit of cardboard. And yeah, just, just move it and then just... Then just it, yeah. yeah. And um, then, yeah, then gold candy over that. And then green candy down the rest of it. So and you just yeah. keep layering the candy yeah. until you think it's... it's and and you, it takes lots of coats to get it that yeah. dark. When you put just one coat on, you can barely so see you've done does the clear it. make a lot of difference to the colour of that candy? The clear still... The clear just makes it shinier again. Yeah. I haven't wet, I haven't wet flatted or polished this back yet, but I can still wet flat this back quite a lot because there's a lot of, lot of clear coat on there. Uh -huh. And if you touch it where the stripes now are, you can feel them, you know, but you can you can actually get enough clear on there to actually fill that all in and flatten it out, which I probably will do later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you let it get nice and hard so you can polish it better. It does look nice. So, oh, yeah. where the front end? Where did you get the front end the from? The front end is, the, the, head, the actually the headstock is from a smaller, um, uh, I think it's a 500 yeah. um, a motor guzzy, the, uh -huh. actual, the actual top and bottom yoke. Yeah. But then I threw the forks away and then that's just CDS um, tube. Oh, right, blimey, you never had it chromed Which I've done it and then got it chromed. Oh, yeah, yeah you'd never know. I've got, no, I've got no suspension on the front. Yeah, you'd now. never know. <laughs> that's lovely. But it does actually ride. Really well, quite yeah. Quite nice, yeah. I suppose when you think about it, it's a bit like riding a fast push bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you've not got well, suspension. Well, we had choppers, not, didn't we, yeah, when we were kids? That's right, it's not... <laughs> it's not... No. It, it's not the sort of thing you're going to nice. go ragging about on no. chasing sports bikes. But so has the better half been on the back of it yet? She hasn't yet, no. no. But she, the other bike is very similar to this one. I've just been on that. And seat's about the same size, and she's, she's all right on that. Yeah. So it's easy enough getting the white wall tyres and that over here? Well, that white wall tyre and that back wheel, that was all in the original bike. Really? So yeah, I've so it's only front end. a skinny yeah. white wall tyre for the front. Yeah, so that's that, almost a bicycle yeah, tyre, well isn't it? That is a moped tyre. Yeah. Yeah. Old Honda um, 50. <laughs> yeah, and the wheel is a 125 Honda oh, um, right. yeah. front wheel, yeah. which is from China. Yeah. Um, they sort of you know, make copies of them, but it, it seems you know, reasonably good quality. Yeah, so you eventually respoke that stainless, or you were quite happy with it? Um, at the moment, that'll do, I think. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. even the back wheel, it's got a few little spots Still of fun. rust on it, and I think I might you know, later on yeah. um, re -re 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 redo that one as well. So, you, so you made all the pegs up yourself and everything? Yeah, and all the pegs. Oh man, that's nice. And the link gear linkage and yeah, the you need um, to teach brake me. linkage. You need to teach me. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> TIG yeah. welding. Yeah. yeah. No, bloody brilliant. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking to us yeah. again. It's been a pleasure thank, seeing you again. We you. must see yeah. more of you. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the yes. £38,000 for that. Thirty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A snip. <laughs> <laughs> All hand-built. Yeah. <laughs> All hand design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No.
another mini, Mark. Can't believe we've got another mini. We're with Mr. Neil Roper this time. It's your loving mini. We've, actually, we've got other things to ask as well, because some people will probably know who you are. Well, no, a but, few, a yeah, few. <laughs> yeah. But when did you get the mini, Neil? I think I got it just before COVID. And was it was it just a wreck and you've just stripped it completely? or? It was just a mini shell, bare mini shell and some bits. Yeah. Uh, engine, 1275? Or? Engine's 1430. 1430. So it's bored and stroked, yeah. Showing off, yeah. Steve. You've got the guru <laughs> with us as well. Been yeah. his guru just there, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey, and you did, obviously did the engine work yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't trust anyone else to do it. Well, you used to work with me, so, yeah. 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 Uh, carburetor, what carburetor carbs you got on it? That's a single 45 DCOE Weber. Uh, exhaust, just a straight through? Yeah, straight through. Uh, it's got a four branch on it, isn't it? Yeah. It's a four branch manifold, yeah, and straight through exhaust, Stripped yeah. interior? Yeah, it's got a it's got a straight cut gearbox and a limited slip diff. Oh, what what limited slip diff is it? Oh, mate. It's an MED road yeah. limited slip diff, okay. yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely. And what sort mm. of horsepower do you think is? About 120, I think. Oh, that's not... That's, that's, yeah, yeah, pretty bloody good. Yeah. Mm. So you ain't got any visions of turbo in it or anything? No, no, I think it's quick enough as it is, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 Quick enough for Steve, anyway. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's not a lot of weight in it. So, uh, you've, you've been involved with it as well, now, haven't you? Well, I've been out. Yeah. I've, I've been out with him do it. Yeah, yeah Steve. Yeah. I, yeah. Most Saturday mornings for yeah. the last five years. Yeah, I'd be lost without Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't we all? <laughs> yeah, we That's true, yeah. yeah. wouldn't we all? That's worked yeah. out all right, though, hasn't it? We've had yeah, some, good. We've had some yeah. good laughs with it. Yeah, it's all about that. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, it. it's been Just good, yeah. enjoyment doing it. Yeah. yeah, and you're the man that's going to do our head on our uh, a- race appar- minute, Apparently, yeah. <laughs> apparently. I am now, yeah. yeah What's sort of history with you, Neil? So people know, sort of, you know, why we're asking you to do it. You're, you're pretty good at what you do, aren't you? Uh, well, you're not going to say that. You no, say, I'm not going to say that. Stage, but... Well, yeah, at the end of the day, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's yeah, done it long enough. You've done some pretty, pretty special cars, haven't well, you? You've done a lot of work. You've done touring car work as well, haven't no, you? No, no. How long do you work for Brian Hart for? I don't Doing know, 20, 25 years or something, yeah. I've, I've so, uh, done most things, yeah, I guess. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it looks really nice. You made a bloody lovely job of it. Yeah, it's come out all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, yeah. No, so it's come out all right. Appreciate that, yeah. yeah appreciate it. Right. Thank you, Mr. Rober. No problem, you're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Guru. Thanks no very problem. much. I oh, shall see you another day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TR, is it TR Owners Club? The TR Register. TR Register. TR Register. So how many people are registered in the club? About 100 there places. 120 clubs. 120 in our local group. Yeah. But there's about 6,000 UK members. Blimey. Blimey. So we're here with Colin, Bob and Gordon. Gordon. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Colin, what car have you got? I've got this... Uh, British Racing Green TR6, Sadly. which is just behind us. Yeah, it, was, it was reputed this the only soft top a man can own. Yeah, only. Uh, yeah, that that's wrong? what is they it say. You said that. It's top gear, soft yeah. top gear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bob, and what have you got? I've got a TR6, but that's an American specification left-hand drive, which is still a left-hand drive. All oh, right, okay. So, is there any serious modifications that have to do with it, or is it just a dash and the, and, and the steering that? And the, and the, uh, but it was left. It was built left-hand drive. Yeah. It went to the states. 75 came back to the UK in 86. Um, they then had a lot of work, or a number of work done to it. Uh, but it was uh, kept left hand drive then, and, and I purchased that left hand drive 20 years ago. Nothing. Gordon, what have you got? That's me. I have a 1957 Triumph TR3. And you said you're going to give it to me. Yeah, then, well, if you do the right thing, I might do. Oh, because sometimes it, it does present better. problems. Gordon said I can have the TR3. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it since 1966. Really? Yeah. Blimey. So uh, what number owner are you? Was he in the family? My, my, uh, in the TR register, my number is 640. Blimey. Uh, and in fact, I was with the first meeting when we set up the register in 1970, I think yeah. it was. Okay, so are you the only owner of the car, or how many owners? Well, it, it's, it had one owner 
uh, an estate agent. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so I purchased it in 2004. Um, <clears throat> a bit of a story to it. The guy had bought it in the States. So I am the third owner, the first owner out of six months. He bought it in the States, used it as his daily drive, then got transferred back to the UK. He had the car brought back. Um, bit of an issue with the registration of it. Um, and eventually, <clears throat> he got divorced and remarried. His new wife wouldn't have anything to do with a new car. So she said, the car's got to go. Oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> that's what happens to most of them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, really harsh. I happened to purchase it at the right price due to various things. <laughs> um, and I then basically rebuilt the car uh, to what it is today. Yeah, so is it ground up rebuilt or? Oh, almost. Um, it, when it came in back into the UK, it was picked up with a full truck on the quayside because they couldn't start it. They damaged the floor, the wing and the door and at that time he decided with the insurance company's payout to have it bare metal stripped Grimy. and change of colour oh. it was common real estate British racing green uh, better, yeah. but the bill was too too high <laughs> when they finished it he yeah. couldn't afford to pay for it Ah. Uh. so they gave him six months to uh, nine months to get the money otherwise they were going to keep the car so he, he eventually got the money together but then the car was rebuilt with everything that was taken out of it and that had a hard life in the States mm-hmm. yeah, okay. so <clears throat> so everything has now been stripped and rebuilt So, but the bodywork is as it was done when he had it rebuilt but I've done everything else to it and what about you Colin how long have you had yours and what's the story behind it is it? Uh, I had mine since 2010 so 14 years just over 14 years I was lucky I was able to uh, purchase it from somebody who was in the club previously so we didn't have far to go um, I'd always wanted a sports car um, but when I was when I was working I hadn't got the money I think that's, hadn't, that's got, a lot hadn't, of got, hadn't, hadn't got the time yeah. so um, I thought what do I what do I want I wanted something with a bit of grunt um, and a soft top yeah. so I found out by accident I phoned the lady up the same night went and saw it a couple of days after brought it straight away I love so, it. Uh, so one lady only had genuinely then yes <laughs> yeah it was it was it's had a total rebuild in 1998 yeah um originally white okay so it's still got the original uh, yeah, petrol it. injection system on board which so are they all straight sixes are they are they all straight sixes on a the TR6 is a straight 6. Yeah, what's yeah. on yours, Gordon? It's a 2.2 four part. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah. Yes, sir. And yeah. carburetor, she run on the yours? But mine's still on the carburetor oh, as it went yeah. to the States. Yeah. Whereas Collins would be a fuel yeah. injection. A lot of people have taken them off and replaced them with carbs. Yeah. I like to keep it as a richer. I've, I've, added, I've added bits to it, but I yeah. keep it yeah, as original as I can. And while it's while it's working I'm looking for a bit of wood to touch <laughs> <laughs> well it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you boys and I hopefully the club just gets bigger and grows stronger and um, I look forward to getting the keys off you Gordon yeah um, okay if you find it off the it's yours I might change the colour though because I don't do red you don't like red uh, well, I've got a pot to paint it I'm not going to have a go of it that's fine and a roller uh, yeah. no, thank you Colin thank you Bob right. thank you thank Gordon you. that's my pleasure Appreciate thank you very much cheers Bye-bye. We've had the TR owners, the husbands, and now we're talking to a couple of the wives. And now it's like to be a TR owner's wife. We've got Janice on the left and we've got, I think it's Lorna, is it? Mrs. Bike Guru on the right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mrs. Right. Bike Guru. So firstly, 
Are you sad when they go away for the weekend and you're left at home on your own? Well, they do take us most of the time, though. Do they? they do, yeah, actually. They do, yeah. yeah. We're pretty good. We they get, don't leave us behind. In, no, they would stay in. weekend out, though, it? How many cars normally go? Is there a load go? Maybe we've done a weekend to Canterbury and it was like five or six cars went on that one and we stayed over. Normally shows you get more, though, come Oh, yeah. Because it's local. On the better. show you get at least ten cars. Yes. Yeah. So it's so nice. all in all, you're happy to be a TR owner's wife. We appreciate classic the car, cars. The car, yes. We, yes. Because we've both got classic cars. <laughs> yes, we both. Yes, you've both got classic yes. cars, yes, because you've yep. got a Moggy as well. I have. I've got my Moist Miner down there. Yes. Further along. Yes. And I've got two, two CVs. If that's, that's right, classic, yes, yeah. about the CV. And yeah. you've got a motorbike as well, haven't you? Yeah. Is it BSA you've got? BSA Bantam. I see, I like a Bantam. Yeah. I, I would like a Bantam, but it's too smaller. It's, for you're me. too tall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can have a go on mine. Can I? That's a trouble, a big old thing. Um, <laughs> so your moggy, um, Janice, mm-hmm. is, it, is it an estate or is it just... A- it's a two-door saloon, 1965. Oh, split screen? No, not oh, that old. Okay. And no travelators either. Oh. But it's still very nice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just when they start up and they say, it's just lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. We've had a few people say, that's got big steering wheel. They're <laughs> <laughs> supposed to, aren't they? They're supposed to, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> We haven't had any of the wheels pop off yet when you're going around the corner. No, no. my brother had one and that happened, used to happen quite a lot because I've only got three, uh, his one only had three uh, nuts three nuts on it. The yeah. two CV's got three nuts on each wheel, yeah. I haven't lost one yet. And I go around the yeah. corners like a lunatic. Yeah, I know, yeah, I've seen you drive it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Steve well, taught me everything I know. It is. <laughs> well, it's been lovely speaking to you both. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very it much. Just a little bit of insight into you know what it's like. Um, have a classic car. Have you'll a never, classic car. You'll never have lose friends. No, that's right. <laughs> So thanks for watching this week. That's thanks Saffron everybody. Morgan Car Show yep. 2024. We'll see you again next year. August yeah. again next year, I guess, yeah, wouldn't you've it? you've got chocolate on your nose. Know, well. Have I got chocolate on yeah. my nose? Don't worry about that. I suppose you want to do the old like yeah. and subscribe, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Go on, then. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a lovely comment and a thumbs up and hit the bell notification and it'll tell you when there's another episode. Lovely. I think you do that better in the sun, don't you? I was going like that. <laughs> yeah. It... I am, apparently, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he even looked at the camera. We don't want any of that blooming. No, we've got no names, we're all right. <laughs>